what is up everyone, Fever that you see here, welcome back to another video, and guys, today we have episode 4 of Building Kashyyyk and Lego. Guys, I know we took a small little break um, from this week's episode to, uh, I think it was two, three, almost three weeks ago. Um, I do want to quickly apologize for that because of the fact that I did get caught up doing stuff, uh, including fixing my vehicle, getting certain things taken care of, and just overall, just didn't really have too, time, uh, too much time to actually film, um, including actually working on Kashyyyk. So... Through that time process, I was able to get a lot of progress done uh, with this mock. And plus, on top of that, I did have an order that came in late um, last week because that was the plan was to get it out. But then I realized I was a little short on the water. So ended up waiting another week because of the fact that, you know, I wanted to get this water 100% done, which it is, um, which is really cool. And I can't wait to show you guys what the, I guess, uh, or at least so-called finished water. There's a couple things that need to be added including like the little slots right there but for the most part I'm gonna call it complete uh, but I did want to apologize for you guys because I didn't want to take that big of a hiatus from you know the Kashyyyk episodes uh, after this everything should be going smoothly today's episode is going a little bit later than what I wanted to but I was ended up getting called into work um, on my day off so you know super exciting but I did I am getting to this a bit later than I wanted to but I do have a lot of progress to show you guys and uh, it's really exciting. The stuff that I'll be going over is the water is pretty much done or 100% done. Again, just little spots like the little cutouts. Um, as well as, uh, of course, got into the beach. Now, of course, I do want to point out, and I'll go over this here in a few minutes, but the beach is not like to its exact design that I'm wanting it to be because there's some things that I'm just, I don't have on hand right now or something that I just haven't figured out designing. So, like, for instance, the dark tan, you can kind of see it going around. I still have a couple... Of uh, things that I just don't have on hand that I'm ordering uh, basically to give it more um, I guess more natural look and again I got these parts on order and I'm just waiting to get, uh, for them to arrive um, and then for the uh, light tan area I'll go over that you know in just a few minutes so again I do want to um, thank you guys for watching and uh, like I said now that we're back we should have that normal schedule this should be coming out on Saturdays or Sundays whichever two I decide so, with that being said, let's stop dilly-dallying. Let's get on to today's episode of Building Kashyyyk right now. Okay, guys, so this is what Kashyyyk is looking like right now. The mock just keeps looking cooler and cooler. Now, again, you guys haven't seen this in a short while. So, there's going to be a, you know, a lot to go over. But as you guys can see, the water is 100% done. I got the all the different uh, blue tiles. I got that large package in. Turned out I didn't have all the amount which kind of uh peeved me off because i think i was less than uh 50 away and uh, it was just a couple patches over here and i was like well you know what i'm just gonna wait to actually get these parts in so i can actually film it because i didn't want to I, I the biggest thing i wanted to do for this next episode is basically have the water done because um for my past I had my previous build series uh building camino you know, there's a lot of water updates and a lot of updates on water studs and that kind of stuff. And it really, you know, it got boring. It got bland. And uh, I really wanted to get the water taken care of first off because of the fact that that way I don't have to worry about it later down the road. And it's just done. So this is, of course, what the water looks like. Again, it looks really cool now that you see it kind of complete. The, oh, the dark highlights and stuff like that. And then the, you got the trans blue going around. And then, of course, you do have the... Uh, trans clear pieces right here and I actually really like how the trans uh, clear pieces came out now as you can kind of see there's a little bit of spots right here basically the idea is these are uh, one by two bricks or trans bricks and uh, they have well for one tiles right here but they also have tiles on uh, the dark sand and that's what these slots go uh, they're basically for these one by two uh, trans clear tiles I basically ran out of them because of course I needed them to kind of go around the edges of the water but on top of that I used the rest kind of just filling these gaps right here so I did make some more orders again I will be having them on their way um, hopefully by the next update that way you guys get to see like the different like uh, water filled in but I really do like it because if you look like from a top view and this is kind of what I really liked about uh, seeing uh, Kashyyyk right here for the water you got underneath the dark blue you got a black uh, and black plates underneath it so it kind of gives that depth underneath here you got the uh, lighter bricks or the lighter plates are tan and then of course uh getting closer and you can still see the tan underneath and then getting closer right here you can still see the dark sand right there um i really do like that um 
Again, this just looks so freaking cool in my opinion. Now, for those of you who are curious, I actually am planning on leaving the studs showing on this one. For those of you who are hoping possibly tiling over like this, the idea is, you know, honestly, I think it looks better um, as its own because of the fact that I did start tiling it over. Um, I think it was in this area. I pretty much tiled it over, and it just looked odd to me in my opinion, and I just didn't really like how it looked. So... I took it away and kind of gave it this like a uh, ripple effect basically you have uh, the waves coming in from the dark parts of the water you've got these ripples right here that are trans uh, transiting to the light blue and then you've got another you know little transit into that so honestly I think it looks better this way and I think it looks fantastic now again this is also something really cool and probably the last thing I'm going to talk about for the water is like again I really do love the whole uh, overflowing of the water kind of just overlapping the black uh, border because this thing just looks awesome in my opinion I really like uh, what you know came out of it because it really just does give the feel like you know the mock is basically overflowing onto the actual surface and off of the uh, I guess palette or the plate of uh, Lego standards so it's really cool again that's going to be going around for the whole mock so again once we get into that side of things as well as anything behind there, um, they're going to have the uh, same similar things with like, you know, forestry and sand and stuff like that. So that being said, I do want to point out the next thing is of course the beach. I finally got started on the beach. Now there are some spots that I did have to kind of leave open. Um, for instance, these cook and I've mentioned this in last week's episode, basically kind of cookie cuts right here. Um, the idea is these spots are supposed to be for the, uh, separatist alliance tanks and basically I found a design which I again uh, Huge shout out to I think his name is Gooby He basically messaged me over on Instagram saying that he found a, he has this great design that a friend uh, Of his built and he sent the file or not the file but the uh, and overall it's such a say great design and I look forward to actually building it because it's just such a wonderful uh, looking build Again, I was looking for him for a little while, and luckily, again, Gooby was able to help me out with that situation. So, once the instructions do get complete, I know they are almost finished. Basically, there's only a little bit more left to do. Um, once he gets the instructions taken care of, I'll be getting a file over it, and of course, I will be building one. Well, technically, you know, two. But again, I just wanted to reiterate that to make sure that these little spots right here, that's why they're blank because of the fact that I don't know how big the model is. The only thing I can really go off of is like the one of the Lego sets which I have somewhere. Uh, but basically just to give me enough space and figure out how I want to do it because I think in this spot right here, I really want to do something special with the uh, Separatist Alliance tank. And again, I'll get into this once we actually get to it but again just wanted to make sure that's you know why it's blank right there um now of course i wasn't able to get to this area right here because of the fact that i just didn't have enough of a certain piece including uh, some of these dark tan plates i ended up running out of them um in the like two by four and two by six plates uh which were very useful to actually you know getting these taken care of so i have run out of those um, I will be ordering some more this week. That way I can kind of just, you know, finish this off. Um, which is pretty cool to think that, you know, this whole, uh, this whole first, uh, row of base plates is almost complete. Um, I, again, I've tried getting as much as I could, but so far I got this little chunk, this little portion right here taken care of, and then, uh, the start of this area. But, uh, I do want to point out that, uh, something real quick, like I said, that these are not the final designs because of the fact that I do have a couple ideas to go and uh, go through and kind of uh, rework but on top of that um, I do want to utilize some of these pieces right here um, including the cheese slope the tile and then of course the uh, uh, curve slope I think it's what it's called and basically kind of line them up uh, through the you know dark tan or the wet sand area to kind of give it more you know realistic feel because uh, it does look nice again I really do like those pieces I just need to get more of them because I surprisingly did not have a lot at all so and that's kind of what I'm thinking, you know, for this area. And honestly, like I said, it looks really nice. And again, I'm going to be utilizing kind of throughout this whole thing. Uh, and of course, if you guys are curious, uh, no, I will not be keeping these uh, studs showing on the light tan or the just plain sand. Don't worry, this is not staying. 
Um, this was kind of just a blank canvas type thing where I, if I, I basically laid out a bunch of tan plates to kind of give it that, okay, this is what it's looking like right now. This is what the beach, you know, is supposed to look like. Um, but don't worry, this is not going to be what it looks like in the end stages. I've got to figure, I'm going to start prototyping later tonight, basically how I want to have the landscape kind of feel. So I'll be working on that hopefully later today and uh, kind of work on that prototype and figure out little things. I have a couple ideas to kind of uh, mix in tiles and plates as well as uh, for little bumps in the sand to utilize some cheese slopes. Um, but basically I'll, you know, I'll come to that later and uh, later when I end up working on it but again this is really cool because i did want to get started on the beach this was something that i really wanted to do uh, i know if you guys want but i go back and look at the uh original layout design i did have the dark tan kind of uh going farther than what i have it right here and what i ended up deciding is yeah technically the uh dark sand probably should or it could go over a couple more studs but honestly i feel like this is plenty enough you've got the a uh, nice transition from dark blue to light blue, a little bit of white, and then of course you got dark tan and then tan. So honestly, I feel like the color mixture looks nice and this looks natural. And I feel like if I push it farther uh, down, it, I could make it work, but honestly I feel like, you know, this just looks nice as it is. Um, I, again, I too look forward to getting those parts in and, you know, continue working on this area right here to kind of give it a more finished look. Um, but Honestly, I'm super excited to finally start working on the beach. This is something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time, and I just wanted to make sure this water was taken care of because <sighs> water is so fun to me, as you guys know already. So now that the water is done, I can actually get into working on the beach and getting that taken care of and setting up some really cool things. It's like uh, I little have a little scenario right here. You get some clone troopers kind of blasting away at, well, nothing right now, but, you know, with some crates and stuff like that. So... Again, I'm super happy. Um, I also do want to point out, I do have some more clones on their way, as well as a couple more uh, Kashyyyk clones, um, as well as I do have some more 501st boys that I did end up picking up. So, again, I am building up some more figures. It's just uh, something that I haven't been showing too much of. But other than that, again, that is, you know, what the mock is looking like. Again, Kashyyyk is just looking cooler and cooler. I do have some more point or parts. I do want to quickly point out before I end out. I do have some more parts coming in for the uh, little uh, pods right here or the little stands. Uh, basically, certain pieces that I just didn't have, including, you know, making this round and stuff like that, I just didn't have on hand. So I did order some parts, and those I should be able to build up a couple more soon. But other than that, again, this just looks super cool in my opinion. And being that it's four, uh, five, uh, basically five rows of base plates, it's kind of hard to get everything in shot. But, you know, getting the idea of this is what Kashyyyk is looking like, it's just looking cooler and cooler every day. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, definitely show some love. And let's get out to that outro. Okay, guys, so that was today's update. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, I do want to apologize for this week's episode coming out later than what I really wanted it to. Um, but now that I'm slowly working on, again, this past couple weeks have been really busy for me at work because there's a lot going on, a lot of changes going on, and uh, I just haven't had the most time because I've been specifically at work. Uh, now that hopefully this is slowing down, I'll be able to have more time on my hands to actually do some work, including you know getting this continue on. Um, the plan is I don't plan on taking another break. I want to keep going. I do have some more videos coming out um, that I really want to start making, like including this. I do have this set right here. I really, really want to get this built sometime uh, because, you know, I think it's such a cool set and I just want to get frames because as you guys can see, you know, I'm a bit of an Iron Man fan. Uh, but I do have a lot of videos I'm wanting to do and it just depends on the timing and how much time I have on my hands. So, with that being said, I, again, I do hope you all enjoyed. If you did, definitely show some love by smashing that like button. If you are new to this channel, definitely subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of today's episode. Do you guys like the idea of me starting up the beach? And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.